the world was full of surprises. But George never imagined anything like this. <laughs> this was the museum's first robot exhibit. So, what do you think, George? Ooh. Uh -huh. Are all robots this easy to control? Uh -huh. Hmm, now where did I put those... Um... George, did you see my box of robots? <laughs> George, th those toys are toys. <sighs> Whew. Well, they are toys, but not toys you play with. I mean, well, you know, I've saved these for years. They're valuable collector's items now. Thanks. Here, you can drive the Mars rover out. Woo! Uh -huh. I never knew Hundley liked robots so much. That's how George got the idea to make a robot for Hundley to play with. Hundley thought George was a real robot. <laughs> Being robotic for a whole hour was tiring. George was ready to get out of that thing. But he didn't want to ruin it for Hundley by letting him see the robot wasn't real. Since he couldn't reach the button, George decided to relax and wait till the elevator came. Oh no, I must have left the XF-17 at home. It's my favorite too. I can go get it while you finish setting up. What's it look like? Well, it's two inches tall, uh, it's red. Oh, oh, and it has no legs. Did you find my XF-17? Yes, it's so cute. How old were you when you built that? Six? I was 22. It's cute? I left it by the elevator because it got heavy. Heavy? There was the elevator. <laughs> Finally, George could go home. I know that handwriting anywhere. Ah! George, Professor Wiseman brought you to the museum because she thought you were my XF-17. Oh. <laughs> yeah, your outfit's so good you almost ended up on exhibit. Hey, that's a great idea. Huh? We promised an XF-17 model. We never said it wouldn't be monkey-powered. And that's how George became a museum exhibit for a day. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>